Uh, hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. A bunch of awesome projects coming up. I hope you guys think ours awesome as well. Uh, the name of our project, project is Inform Me. Um, my team members are here. We have some more team members that are sitting down in the back. So I'm just going to go straight into it. So the next slide. So what the project we are doing is, is a way of communicating with people that are near you. So something is going on nearby, you want to get the message out to as many people as you can that are near you that you may not possibly know. So it's based on some GPS calculations, uh, based on where you at, and some other things that I'm going to get to now. I'll save all the fun stuff for later. So I'll let my partner take over. OK, so how does it work? So we're trying to communicate here through a range. So in this way, we can communicate the text through creating a message, then we specify the range that we want. If we want just the neighborhood, we want the bigger neighbor, or the, the bigger part of the neighborhood to know, and we select a category. And then we are able to inform who, who, the, the things that we want. For example, we have the categories like emergency, suspicion, social, and advertising. Now, what is emergency? For example, if something really bad happens and you need to communicate that to everybody, then you use the emergency situation. In that case, most of the people which are able to receive the categories, for example, if you want to receive the emergency categories, then people will be able to and know that you're in an emergency, receive the message, and be able to help or call whoever is necessary. The suspicion, for example, you see someone that is trying to get into a car, and then but you don't know if the person's if that's that's the person's car, right? So what you do is that you throw a suspicion. So therefore, everybody gets the message. The neighbors are able to know if that person is from that car or not. And they're able to react to see if that person should be in that car or not. And social, for example, you want to get into a gathering, but you're not able to get all the messages out. And you want to do it as soon as possible. So for example, for a barbecue, if you want to get everybody in the neighborhood around, then you send a social event. And for advertisement, for example, you are in a very small uh, camera that you created for yourself, you work real hard on. And then, for, a, for example, you want people that are around to know that you have specials, that you are better than other places. So then you pass around, and you're able, in that area, in that range, you're able to send a special message. These are advertisements, which you can also opt out of. So if you won't want to be spammed by every single market, you can get out of it. So, go ahead. So, you know, who is this for? Well, it is for everyone. It's for the young, the old, the adults. If you're a young person and you want to go play soccer, you want to play basketball, and you don't want to go by yourself, or you don't want to make the whole Facebook event just to go play basketball, take out your phone. You want to go play basketball at the, at the park. Everybody with a cell phone, they can get text message, get the message. You want to have a barbecue, you only want your neighborhood to come, you don't care about anyone else. Send a message out to the people that are nearby. Hey, guys, I'm having a barbecue. Come hit me out. If something happened to you and you need somebody to come change your light bulb or you failed and you need somebody to help you out, you can hit the button. Hey, can someone come help me? So this app is for everyone. And how big is it? So for, for example, this is for all businesses, businesses too. For the small business, you can notify what makes you special. For the medium business, you can notify what are your specials. And for the big business, you can create market events. These events can be notified for everybody. All right, so we talked about this a lot. How about we give you guys a nice demonstration of how the app will work and look. So first thing is that you want to log in. You want to log in with your email address. So add uh, something, and I put in my password, and I sign in. Now, suppose I want to play League of Legends. I type in, let's play League of Legends. And since this is a social event, I would hit social. And then everyone around would get that text message. So we all should be getting messages pretty soon. Yeah. But while we wait on that, 
for the sake of time. Oh, and there was my text message. So for the sake of time, we will end our presentation here. Is there any questions? Thank you. <laughs> question, question. Okay. Yeah. You know, you're saying, okay, you know, you're going to get people, you know, on your block to sign up for this, right? I mean, that's what yes. you really want to do. Then, then you're going to invite merchants and everything like that. But it's a, it's a community. But you know, is it, you know, how do you make the geo boundaries around the community that you uh, want to use it? Always? So, so what happens is, it's not more of a. It's, we hope that we use the community, but it's still based on some type of GPS. So the app has your your latitude and longitude. That gets sent to a database. Once it goes to the database, the server picks up, oh, a new record came in. Right? Based on other users that are around that location, based off the radius that you preset, those people will get the message. So assuming you are doing events where you live at, then your community will be the one that you frequently talk to. Thank you. I, heard, I, I didn't catch what sponsor resources you used there. Ah, this is the next slide. The last slide. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys.